What is up all my beautiful, beautiful people of this world? This is X0991 with another tutorial, a little bit of an update tutorial to the homebrew launcher. A lot of you might know that I made a tutorial on how to get the homebrew on your 3DS via like uh, OOT hacks and power saves. But actually now there's a way that you can do it without even having to buy either of those two things. I happen to have both, but now there's a method that it's available to everybody. And I just wanted to show you to update you if you already have ocarina of time and power saves feel free to use that i honestly think this method is a little bit simpler because you don't have to be switching out your cartridge and you don't have to do all that mumbo jumbo stuff and to me it just seems like a lot cleaner so everything that you're going to need is going to be in the description i'm going to show you the web pages if you want to do it by yourself but in the description i'm going to do you a solid favor and i'm going to actually be hooking you up with a little thing called zeros pack this is going to hold everything you're going to be you're going to need for homebrewing your 3DS. Now, I am, see normally, normally you'd go onto this site and you'd scroll down and you'd go to the preparing your SD card and you download the homebrew starter kit, okay? So you can go ahead and do that. All you're gonna get in that folder though is this 3DS, themes, and the boot. I am hooking you up with the JKSV save manager in case you wanna use PK Hex which is for Pokemon Sun and Moon or Pokemon Omega Ruby and Alpha Sapphire. I am doing you the solid so you don't have to go look for it. You can just download the pack. It'll work the same because this is the starter kit just mixed with the save manager if you want to use PK Hex because in my last tutorial, I talked about PK Hex and how to use, you know, homebrew and all that. I don't know if you want me to show you how to do that, if you can go to the other video, but I'll show it in this video anyways. So let's just get to the homebrew part. So yeah. You're going to need that starter kit or just download the pack below. It's the same thing. This homebrew starter kit is the same thing as Zero's pack, okay? I want to make that clear because a lot of people get confused. You can download this, but the other one is better. I'm just going to leave the pack in the bottom. It'll have the save manager. It'll have everything you need. Another thing you're going to need, and this part is going to be important to you. This is, I repeat, this is going to be different for every single person. This is the payloads. Now, go to your system settings, you know, the little wrench, okay? And then in the bottom right corner of the top screen, when you go to your system settings, you're gonna see the firmware you're on, whether it be what have you. That is what you need. If you are using an old 3DS, the original model, use this. If you're using a new 3DS, you use this one, okay? So whether it's an old DS, DS XL, you use old if it's a new 3ds xl you're going to use new all right so i'm going to be doing this on my old 3ds and i am on firmware 11.2.0.35 scroll down to 35 and i am you okay and this will be different for everyone you might have a new 3ds you might have a different firmware you might be in europe or japan or i think korea i think they actually have support for that too once you have your set payload you're gonna hit download other app okay so let me show you what that looks like and these are the full these are like the files you're gonna have because these are the things you're gonna need it's gonna look a little bit like this okay and you're actually gonna wanna rename it as other app other app just like that Okay, just leave it like that. And then you're gonna wanna go, this one you are gonna need to download too. I won't be able to put the download link for the other app because again, it's your firmware. Another thing, this link, this site will be in the description. Once you get to GitHub, Ned will slot like slash sound hacks, this is what you have to do. And here is what you wanna look at. Sound Hacks European New 3DS. These are like a little bit of music files. This was only uploaded two days ago. So this is this is still in testing. A lot of these are. But luckily for me, there is a Sound Hacks USA old 3DS M4A. This one is working. So like I said, this some of these are untested. Feel free to test these out. Eventually they will work. So check this site a lot. But since I'm using an old 3DS, and it's working this is what you're gonna want to go to so this is if you're in the USA in a new 3ds Korea old 3ds Korea new 3ds Japan so these work for all regions now as of yesterday I think or two days ago I guess some of these were supported 
So we're gonna download the sound hacks for me. I'm using an old 3DS, I'm from the US, I'm downloading this one. And all of these, you're gonna wanna slap straight into your SD card, the zero pack and the sound hacks. Remember, so let's, I'll go over it again. Before we do it, we'll do a fresh clean SD card. It's gonna be great. Okay, so this is what we have. We have zeros pack, right? All right, and then we're gonna wanna drop in the other app bin that we renamed. And we're also going to want to drop in this sound hacks. Where did I leave it? I left it over here, sound hacks. So all of this is going to go straight onto your SD card. So this is my root of my SD card. I'm going to highlight it all. And we're going to just drag it straight in. Just like that. Okay. There we go. Everything's going to go in. And now this is where we can go to the 3DS. So I will see you there. All right, so we are now on the 3DS. So literally all you have to do from this point is you have your SD card in, right? And I think it's gonna say, if you started with a fresh one, it might say load, it might not. Um, all you have to do is go to the Nintendo 3DS sound. So this is my 3DS, all the files that you saw were in there. We're gonna open up the Nintendo 3DS sound app. I know you never thought you'd actually use this thing, but now you're actually gonna use this thing. So. Let's see, I've actually never used, oh, it's saying that I've never used it. So this is what you're gonna wanna do. And you can see actually my voice as it's going. But let's go to the bottom screen. So you're gonna load up the sound and this is what you're gonna see. It's gonna detect that something is on your SD card. And this is what you wanna see. Once you hit this, you hit play. And just like that, you now have access to homebrew. Just like that, simple, easy, clean is the way that it's making you feel tonight that is a reference to kingdom Hearts. and now look you have just like in the other video i now have access to jk save manager and the homebrew launcher which means i can homebrew and i can use the jk save manager to use pokemon sun and moon to save and use pk hex so that's basically it. I just wanted to do this tutorial for the homebrew launcher itself. Now, if you want to see how do you use the JK save manager, go to the video before and I have timestamps to show you how to use the JK save manager. What I haven't done and feel free, I have been asked by a couple of people. If I get one more person to ask me, I will make a tutorial on how to make legal Pokemon using PK hex for your Nintendo 3DS. So I hope this video helped. If you have any questions at all, please leave them in the comment section down below or hit me up on Twitter. I've helped so many people via Twitter to get this homebrew launcher working slash getting PK Hex to work. Again, if you do have Ocarina of Time, feel free to keep using that method, but this is just a simpler method. Now you don't have to take Ocarina of Time out every single time. So now every single time, just go into the sound manager, go to that file, load it up, and you will be at the homebrew, okay? And like I said, if you wanted, just throw in your copy of Pokemon Sun and Moon, like right now. Actually, you know what? I might do that right now. Why the hell not? Okay, I'm back. So like I said, this is the JKSV Save Manager. All I have to do is quickly throw in my copy of Pokemon Sun. And you'll see that in the bottom, it'll change like that. Boom. And then I can start exporting my saves and doing whatever I have to do. Uh, I, like I said, I did show a tutorial of how to use it in the last video, so I will leave a link to that in the description. But just to show you that this works, and it works exactly like the other one, save, export saves, make a new one, boom. But I will make another tutorial. If I'm asked, I will make another tutorial on how to use PK Hex, and I will go through the process of using JK as the manager, okay? So please leave a like. Leave a comment down below. I hope this helped. This made hopefully will make it a lot easier for a lot of you because a lot of you did not have Ocarina of Time or a Power Saves. But this works just like any other homebrew. So please leave a like, leave a comment, hit me up on Twitter if you have any questions, and I'll see you all later. Take care, all my beautiful, beautiful people of this world.